Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Do you want to connect your Rex domain to Shopify? In this video, we will guide you throughout the process of linking your Rex domain to your Shopify store, giving your online shop a professional look. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So guys, in this video, you will need to own a Wix domain. Now, owning a Wix domain is quietly uh, different than any other platforms, since basically in Wix you don't really have, or basically Wix is made for making websites, not buying domain names. But recently they have added this feature where you can give your site and edit it. For example, here I have several sites and these sites actually have a Wix domain or subdomain, but not a custom domain that I want. Recently they have added the option so you can actually add to one of these sites a custom domain. Now this domain for example here, so here I am in one of my websites that I have already created. I click right here on dashboard and I am now on connect a custom domain. Now in this area, I will have to write my domain. So let's do that real quick. For example, I'm gonna write tutorialwix domain and here they go. So it is available. Now what I'm gonna do is make it yours. Now to make this domain yours and you still have to you can make this uh, domain yours now, but you will still have to upgrade your site in order to assign it. Now let's buy it directly, so click on it. And after I did that, now I can buy this domain from Wix. So buying a domain from Wix is not literally by going to Wix.com and going to buy domain, but it is a little bit tricky since you have to go and create an account, make a website, and while creating a website, click on connect a custom domain, and through that, you will be able to actually get a domain from them so there we go as you can see here I have that now pretty much the domain is gonna be very expensive so what I highly recommend you to do is to not actually get the domain directly but to upgrade the plan of your Wix website with that you will get to upgrade your plan for much less more cheaper for example seven dollars and you will get one free domain for one year so you could get a domain for free now at the same time we'll be able to actually get a plan on Wix you can use it later on on one of your projects so this is how you can get the actual domain from now so getting the domain with a free price you have to go with upgrade plan and then you can buy it unless you have money you can literally just buy it directly for a higher price now, how can we connect it to Shopify? We have to first of all, click on login on Shopify. And right after that, go to your account and make sure to go to your store. So the store is gonna be somewhere right here. Go to all stores. This is how you can create your store. So it's pretty simple, pretty quick. Create a new one. And then right after that, skip all, next. And the store will be created in a few seconds. So this is the step that you have to follow in order to create a store in Shopify. Now, what are we missing? Nothing much. So we have to simply go right here. So every platform has this get ready or setup guide when you first create a website within that, pro that platform. So in here, the same thing with Shopify. So you can simply go to the setup guide, which is right in front of us and go directly to add a custom domain. Right after that, click on Add Domain. As you can see, this is the current uh, like domain that we are using, which is a subdomain of myshopify.com. And now we are going to give it our domain from Wix. So, here you will have two options. Either buying or connecting a domain. So, now we already own a domain with Wix, so we are going to use the second option to connect an existing domain click right on it and here you simply have to write that domain that you want for example I'm gonna copy this next and basically uh, as you can see this domain is available for purchase let me just add one of my other domains that I have already I think I will have one in here so I can show you how you can get it it's pretty simple sign in continue 
and I'm gonna copy this one for now so this is like an example domain so there we go once you have added the custom domain that you want to add you will have here connecting your domain to connect your domain follow the instructions to change your provider account settings follow settings instructions so click in here and they will take you to the page where you can follow the settings instructions and here you can verify the connection so let's wait a little bit and here we go this is an article made by Shopify which is helping us to connect a third-party domain to Shopify so after you purchase a domain from a third-party domain provider such as Google domains GoDaddy one and one and you need to connect your domain to your Shopify store connecting your domain point to your URL to your Shopify store so that customers can enter that URL into their web browser to visit your online store after you connect your domain to Shopify, you still need to log in into your third-party domain provider to manage domain settings, pay for your domain and renew it. Now, how can we connect them together? So here we're gonna go to this section and choose one of these questions. So here, consideration, we're not gonna do that. To the right connection, we're not going to do that. Connect your third-party domain to Shopify automatically or connect your third-party domain to Shopify manually. So we are going to check them both. Well, the first one which is gonna be checking is automatically. Now for the automatic or the manually, I mean. So for the manual, you will have to go to your domain page that you have on Wix. This is the first thing. Second of all, make sure to go to DNS manager. For example, here on uh, Namecheap, I have it advanced DNS. So you'll have the same thing in Wix. Now, after that, make sure to add these informations. So you'll have to add custom DNS records that are basically gonna be the Shopify IPv4 and the Shopify IPv6 address. So here you have a for record and a sex record and then the www.cname record shows that my shopify.com so for example let me show you right here in namesheep in namesheep so what i'm gonna do is delete all of them for example and remove and what i'm gonna do next is to add the records now there is a record so it's gonna be uh like that at host at and make sure to copy this IP address and paste it right there then you should do the same thing with the other options so copy this one right here and do it in the A4 record so it can be sometimes uh, a little bit tricky for example this one is not A4 so you have to go with um, I think it is A4 record yep because it is uh, it has more numbers, but that's how it works. Once you're done everything like so, you will have to wait a couple of seconds or minutes and then refresh the page and you will find your domain name has been changed. So thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.